Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. I got something a little different for you today. We're looking at a really cool utility box from Mantic Effects called the Pendulum. It can add a clean blend to any effect like a fuzz. Automatically switch between two effects or even two amplifiers. Or you can automatically fade in or out a pedal loop just with your dynamics. So join me as I check out the pendulum from Mantic Effects. The pendulum is a utility box unlike any other opening up a whole new world of instrument, amp, and effects loop switching with four different modes. Two sets of inputs and outputs give you various configurations, from simple switching between two instruments or amps, or treating the second set as an effects loop, where you can switch on a group of effects at once to make your pedal board more manageable. Attack and decay help dial in gradual fade in and out times, while the powerful mix control can help dial in your mix between amplifiers or add a clean blend to any effect in your loop. Blue mode can be anything from a simple AB box for instruments or amps, or a simple way to fade in and out of a pedal loop every time you hit the foot switch. Green mode uses an envelope to automatically switch between signals with your playing dynamics, an expressive way to create volume swells, faux tails, or gated effects of any kind. Yellow mode repeats the envelope cycle automatically for stereo amp panning or quasi tremolo effects and you could select a simple pulse or a custom tapped in pattern with the red mode. Finally, the shift button provides even more control over the parameters, such as the threshold for the envelope mode and output levels for each channel. All settings get saved once you leave the mode and the pendulum receives MIDI messages for even more advanced control. For complete specs, check out manticeffects.com. So there's a lot of applications with the pendulum, but let's just start simple. And I'll be using the blue mode, which uh, involves the foot switch. Here you could have it set up for latching or momentary. So let's try just a momentary blast of reverb and heavy modulation. And of course you can change the way it fades in and out with the attack and decay controls. <laughs> And if you didn't want so much footwork, you could hold the shift button and hit the foot switch and now you're in latching mode. And this is a great way to just play something for a longer amount of time and then if you want to fade back out of it, like you know a lead tone, this is a great setup to have. So I'm going to switch out the modulator for a fuzz pedal. And remember that the effects in the loop are in parallel with your sort of bass tone. And in this case, it's kind of a crunchier overdrive. So I'm just going to use that mix to just add that layer of fuzzy reverb on top just to get me where I want it. And then it's not going to overpower the uh, you know, rhythm crunch when I back out of it. <laughs>
And the green envelope mode has to be one of my favorites here because it's very expressive and you could kind of have the effects fade in or fade out uh, depending on how you have it set up with the direction of the envelope. So here's a great example of that. I have the vibrato in the loop and you're just gonna hear it fade in as the notes fade out or if you play softer you're going to hear pure vibrato so let me give you a taste of that and then we'll flip the direction of the envelope So to reverse it, just hold shift and the foot switch and you'll want to flop your attack and decay controls here. What this means is the harder you play, the more you're going to hear the effect in the loop. So this can be really cool if you want to put something like dirt or uh, something just to really e emphasize a riff when you're playing hard and then when you play soft, you're not going to hear the effect. <laughs> And you can set up these envelope modes as more of a gate for the effect that you have in the loop. So let's try it with a very quick delay and I'm just gonna chop off those repeats. So you're only gonna hear the delay when I'm actually playing. Regardless of the switching in the blue mode, you could just use the mix control to add a clean blend to any pedal. So you could do it to a fuzz or uh, even something like this filter in the old Blood Noise Endeavors float. So I'm going to start with the mix all the way up, then back it off and you're just going to hear that clean signal coming back and eventually dominating the mix. <laughs>
Moving on to the yellow mode, this one gives you some uh, pretty basic tremolo effects. If you just want to use it into two amplifiers, it'll pan between them. Or if you want to stick something in a loop, you could really get creative and kind of build some really unique tremolo effects, especially since you could play with the attack and decay and really change the wave shape. So in the loop, I have an analog octave up fuzz. So half the time it's going to pulse a clean signal and the other half is going to have that really kind of ring mod-esque fuzzy octave up. <laughs> There you have it, the Mantic Pendulum, just offering a wide variety of switching and mixing between sources. You can check it out at ManticEffects.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another Andy demo.